month. Okay, so today we're learning about aperitif. Is that how you say it? Aperitif? Aperitif. <laughs> and the different types of alcohol that you drink. We're gonna try this one for a party we're going to tonight. This is a whole new level of education for Will and I. We're very American in the way that we start with one alcohol and drink that all night. So we're here in India and it is New Year's Eve and we're really excited because we've been invited to two different parties. It's not a big drinking culture, but they like their different styles of alcohol. And they like it at the right time. At the end of the meal, they give us a little bit of liquor too. Is that typical or is that like during the dessert? There's like a little maybe lemoncello or something. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty typical as well? Or does it just depend? No, it's different. We're gonna have to get him to give us a whole class in alcohol. <laughs> The problem I see with all this is that we just like to stick with one drink and keep it all night. But and I'm so liking, I think I'm liking this varying it up if I don't get sick. So in the U.S. we're kind of used to champagne as like, like only on New Year's Eve or something, like on special celebrations. It's not something that's part of our... This just goes to show you that we're not being social enough. But we are pretty social, we just haven't been paying attention. So the next stop so far is our chocolate shop. We have to bring just a little bit of sweets. We weren't asked to bring stuff. We always wanted to sort of bring something. So we're here getting a little bit of chocolate. This is my favorite chocolate shop in here. It's almost the only chocolate shop in here. No, it's not. Yes. There's tons of them. Something like this, Jess. Mm -hmm. Like Happy New Year 2017. Those things look the chocolate covered cherries look really good. Okay, so that is it for the chocolate. We got everything we need. We got wine, we got chocolate, we got aperitif, whatever that means, and we gotta go now. And it's for who? I've got I got all these bags. I can't even carry this thing. I got all these bags with me and I can't film and hold this at the same time, so I think we're done for the day. I've got all the chocolate. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is the last day we're gonna see of all these festivities, Jess. Aww. I know. It's been fun. I think it's been enjoy. really fun. They've really done it up, and I'm, I'm gonna miss it. I didn't realize you were behind me. So for New Year's Eve, we have a tradition. We, it's a tradition that we borrowed from my parents, and I think it's a Latin tradition where on New Year's Eve, you, you eat 12 grapes, once to signify each of the upcoming months. So we're going down to the store to get the grapes, and we are Hopefully not getting anything else, but we may get a coffee because we're gonna be up late tonight. We're late and we're old funny daddies. We don't normally stay up this late. Stop it. <laughs> okay, so between you and I, and the rest of the internet, I really don't like the grapes here. Not in this particular store, but just in France in general. I'm sorry, France. I love everything else about you, but I don't like the grapes. Well, do we need anything else, Jess? Um, I'm gonna get some more yogurt. Vlogo's in love with the yogurt here. <gasps> Look while they have white! <laughs> okay, I am so <laughs> corny. I have these in blue, I have them in red. We have a lot of them. So I, I, I collect them because they're great to make like bath salts in and give as gifts and they're nice to use as little cups and they're fun. They've got a happy little decoration on them and I'm all about recycling so they're cute. I can't believe they have them Maybe they change colors like every couple of months. They've got like 50 right They've had months. blue for three months. Okay, so if you want bath set. salts, let us know because I think she may send them to you. <laughs> we got a lot of these things at home. Alright, I'm gonna get a couple. You want to get three? What if they run out of the white? Oh, stop. Let's just get three just to four. Right. Let's get four. I know, I'm, I'm corny. What can I say? I mean, I'm really glad we're going to have coffee. Because, bonjour. Because we have to be awake for six, seven, eight, nine, nine more hours. And I don't think if I can, can do it without a coffee. Oh, I'm getting a beer now. You're going to have a beer? Yeah, it's New Year's Eve. I know, but Will, you have to last till one in the morning. I'm not going to carry the whole show, you know. I'm a gamer, Jess. You want a bag? The kiwi? Okay. So the French way of doing dinner parties is as such. We've never been to a party like this where you start off at like about 8.30 at night and it's going to go all the way through with the food extravaganza until about midnight. 
we're really excited. The only problem is that we're gonna start it here at this party and then we're gonna go to another party because we've been invited to two. I think we're gonna time it right that we get the pre stuff here and then we're gonna jump straight into the main meal at the other party. Cheese with kiwi inside, that's like the first course. There's no cheese, it's like chickpeas and vegetables. Yum. Look at this, guys. French living at its best. It is, it is always hard to say goodbye to the first party. Until we get to the second party, which is about to happen right now. All right, here we go. Party number two. Yay, let's go. Can you teach us a class? What's the meal? Oh, I had uh, it's uh, chicken with uh, coconut milk. Ooh, oh my gosh! Wow. With uh, ginger and yeah, I'm not gonna so. I'm not gonna so. It is 3:45 at night. <laughs> I kid you not, we just started eating like, like half an hour ago, but you know, we're, we're trying, we're making this happen, we're getting used to this. I'm so glad this is going to make it party like they told us. I have to shave my legs. <laughs> Alan and Ollie just had their first fight of the year and now they're making up. <laughs> I have been given the task of dishwasher for years. So my 2017 resolution amongst many others. I will, I will wash more dishes. <laughs> Yeah, you guys can. We gotta, you gotta go to bed at some point. I'm dying, I'm so hot. It's not as cold tonight as it was early today. 2017 is gonna be a warmer year, Jess. It is if we move south, right? Really far south. Like south of south of France. Like Africa. So it's time to wrap up. We're taking off real soon, and everyone, I mean everyone, is speed at this point. Oh boy. That is that is it. That is the party, and we gotta go back in. So it's so it's 1:31 in the morning, and we just left the party. Largo, what? Do you think you're wiser now that you're in 2017? No. No. It's gonna be the best thing you do in 2017. Um, get one million dollars. Get a million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I can see my breath, but this is far less painful than many New Years that I've had in my life. My New Year's resolution for 2017 is for travel, to travel to five more countries, professional to get 18 out of 20, so that's my overall grade for this year, the school year, and as, what would you call that, personal, I am going to be more active in world towning. Margo? My travel is going skiing, my work is doing the moonwalk, and my personal is earning two million, two thousand dollars. Bye. It's freezing out. <laughs> Happy New Year! It's 2017. It's been an amazing 2016. 2017 is going to be awesome. Awesome. Just we, you wait. We're going to blow the top off this travel light. And keep watching. Keep keep subscribing, and hit thumbs that up. thumbs up because Share. it's going to be amazing. Comment. So setting a New Year's resolution is part of our family tradition because we like to think about what more we can do. But at the end of the day, we know what we have to do. We know what we want to do. And we know we just have to get it done. And that's what we're going to do our hardest in this year is to get everything we want done because there's a lot we want to do with our family. We only have so many years with our kids before they grow up and head off to college. Six and a half to be exact with our kids. So we want to make sure <laughs> that they have the best life they could possibly have with us and we're not going to stop at anything to get it. These, this is all, these are all the memories we're creating and I hope that our kids take them with us, with them as they go through life and it inspires them and, and creates these amazing memories from their childhood. This is why we do it. I mean, we're trying to be, you know, we're not trying to be normal, we're trying to be us. And, and sometimes <laughs> normal doesn't normal. understand us. We hope you guys understand us because it's pretty cool. <laughs> so we're going out tonight. It is the only night that we've had in the last two weeks with her parents in town that we're gonna have a chance to get out. 
traditional French restaurant having some meat because we're stopping meat in about four days. I think we'd probably have we have to live for at least another 50 years to be able to slow travel and hit all the countries we want to hit. So yeah. better start eating healthy. <laughs> You're looking good in your t-shirt. World towning. I'll model the full thing later. And for our New Year's adventure, we're gonna go to a winery. This place is the Chateau Saint Marguerite, which is here in um, La Longue, France. And we're gonna go check it out. Let's go see. The details with, uh, okay, so, so or just wine tasting, no vineyard tours here. Let's try. Okay, we have friends that are just pulled in, so let's wait for them to <laughs> <laughs> So this is the first round we're doing and uh, honestly okay. it is really just one of those things where you know, when you're in France you just have to do, you have to come to a winery. Is that the one you're trying right now? Yes. Yes. Do you prefer it? I think I prefer the first one but yeah. I like the full body taste of... So you don't have anyone that comes in here and just gets really drunk and no, drinks no. all the wine? Okay, I could be the first. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be posting stuff online about world towning that I regret. Like my breasts. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> no pictures. No picture. Oh no, this is really cool, the contrast of the red. Yeah. This is such an Instagram moment, Jess. Uh, it looks like I'm taking a poop. <laughs> so Jessica controls the Instagram page for World Towning and every single day she puts in a really cool shot of us doing World Towning stuff, I guess. Um, some of it's really done well and some of it's iPhone stuff, but for the most part, I think you're gonna like it. So I'll put a link down below for this. Like it, like it, like it. Stand at the end, this one over here. Okay, just a little bit, that's all I want. Okay, Expelliarmus! Okay, so our New Year's resolution is to, is to drink more wine, and, and honestly, well, that's not our resolution, but no, that's not resolution. But that is our day one activity. <laughs> the day one was watching movies. We're on day two now. Yeah. <laughs> so it's New Year's. Happy New Year, guys. Okay, are you ready? Oh, oh that's perfect. All right, I gotta take a couple pictures in the vineyard. Right. Okay. So that's it for the vineyard. Hope you guys had a good time. I think we did. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get any photos here, Jess? Fine, doesn't it?